Roland Shelton against Phil Taylor coming next. Helen Cudder with Phil before that Varney match. Here we are then, Phil. This is the quiet before the storm, isn't it? It is. It's going to be buzzing tonight. I know they've sold out, so uh, and there's a lot of Stokies in town as well. Yes, because as you just pointed out, there's two Stokies left. Two Dutchies left. Past the Dutchies <laughs> on the yeah. left hand side, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good night mm. tonight. It's gonna be, it's, it's, there's gonna be two good games up here tonight. Let's go back to last night though. Mm. Um good performance against Kevin Painter. You s actually seemed like you were really enjoying yourself up there as well. I was. I, I with Kevin, you get what you know, what you see, what what you, what you get, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? He puts his heart on his sleeve, and that's how he plays. You know, he, he's flat out, and uh, just to keep pegging him and hitting moaning when he's walking past you, 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 you tend to start laughing a little bit. But he's a great little player, and I'm sure you know his, his future's still still coming along. You know, but uh, but I, I do enjoy beating him. I must be honest. And your averages, hundred plus averages last night, mm. best in show. Well, it's it's got to improve now. Obviously, you know, as the rounds get longer, you can relax a little bit. You know, there's no uh, first round nerves now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And even if you go like two, three nil down, it doesn't really matter because it's a long format. So you can, you know, you can take your time and get into the game now properly. And this this game that you're facing, it's the 2006 Premier League final replay, isn't it? You and Roland. Mm -hmm. So yep. now we do know that Roland can peg you on this format with it being straight legs yeah yeah well they all can I mean they're all good players there's no bad players anymore Alan no. do you know what I mean have you been eating garlic but um, it's it's one of them formats yeah I've been eating garlic bread only it's because I told him that I'd been eating garlic bread no <laughs> it's nice to see you so relaxed I am relaxed I am relaxed <laughs> no, I'm only kidding I'm only kidding on that note <laughs> go and get yourself ready I'm going to be throwing bowls of garlic at you while you're on that stage. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But no vampires, eh, will there tonight? No. Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a very relaxed Phil Taylor, and uh, it will be a very jubilant Phil Taylor, I'm sure, after his former practice partner, Adrian Lewis, went through and his arch rival, Raymond Van Barneveld, went out. Our MC is John McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the action here. Quarterfinals, best of the 31 legs, brought to you by the PDC and live on Sky Sports. It's time to meet the players from Dan Haig in the Netherlands, the former UK Open champion, the Flying Dutchman, Roland still catching their breath after that last quarter final Raymond van Barneveld losing to Adrian Lewis will there be another upset on the cards in the next hour
hour or so. Your commentators, Dave Lanning and John Gwynn. Well, it's not often that we say of a match involving Phil the Power Taylor. He's got a hard act to follow. Can he do it? But we realistically have to ask that question because that was one heck of a contest. The City of Stoke won, Holland nil, yes. Can it be 2-0 for the Potteries or can Roland Schultz and Dave do to Taylor what Lewis has just done to Barnaby? He will have to be at his very, very best. Schulten here stands about a foot taller than Phil Taylor on the hockey, and he will have to really be at his peak. Taylor has looked back at something like his uh, imperial best, 99 average for the week, 51% check-out success rates. Last night against Kevin Pater, he had a patch, John, where he was averaging over 101, nine straight legs, first start, didn't give anything away. They're in their costume. We've got the pantomime characters. We've got all the fun of the fair. And we've got Phil Taylor. How better to round off your Thursday night's entertainment in this fabulous evening of quarterfinal action. Can Phil Taylor make it four Englishmen into the semis? Well, you can keep all your Batmans because Let's Taylor is a superman if ever there was. And Shulton quite Come capable. On. Let me remind you that yesterday in beating Wayne Mardell 13-6. All right, his overall average was 93.25, but I've done a bit of working out today. His last 13 legs produced 107.52. Now, he's got to maintain that sort of uh, performance, Dave, in order to seriously challenge the power. And if he can, we'll have another game 94. like the one that finished not so long ago. England v Holland, part two. Adrian Lewis has done a wonderful job for England and St George. Oh, it must be said that 45. Ray Van Barnabel, gracious in defeat. Terrific ambassador. Wonderful, wonderful uh, interview. And uh, all the better for the game of darts. This great sport. With Congratulations to Adrian oh, Lewis. We'll see him tomorrow, of course, against James Wade. And Terry Jenkins awaits the winner of this one. Shelton, so cool, so laconic, 96. technically so sound against Taylor, who can be explosive and dominant. Tournament average, exactly 100. <laughs> uh, He'll stay oh, above there during this game, uh, I reckon, because uh, he knows the importance of this now. He very, very much love to make it a ninth world match play. 83. 129. We saw his protege Lewis hit this at a critical moment. Yes, Lewis actually went uh, treble. 16 for double 12 uh, at this point. Um, I'm not sure whether Taylor's got the same in mind. I don't think so, actually. So 20 will leave tops. 89. Shelton back on 217. Remember, he had the darts. In fact, Taylor, his usual ploy, had won the throw but awarded the darts to Shelton. 57. That's his normal tactics. And it, his usual that he wins that first leg against the throw and then goes for gold. It's a long way short, double ten. It's inside the wire, double five. There it is, the green bits. And this time, Taylor is spot on.